So, James has recently moved to the UK from South Africa, obviously, we're very happy to have him, but he's only just starting to figure out the British culture. So we thought we'd give him a proper introduction to all things British, and what better place to do that than London. London, baby. Morning, Mark. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, nice flag. What's the flag for? Oh, thanks. Please, you noticed that. I've actually got some for you too. Oh, if I must. What's the uh, what's the what's the occasion? Well, we're going to go on a bit of an adventure today. We're going to go on a ride and see a load of British things. Really introduce you to the British culture. Sweet, like bangers and mash, fish and chips, steak and ale pie. You sound like you're quite hungry. Uh, yeah, probably should have more breakfast before this ride. Don't worry, we are going to be stopping on route, grabbing some food, ah. hopefully some bangers and mash. I'd love some bangers and mash as well. But we're going to go and see some major. British landmarks today. Oh, nice. That sounds like a good ride. I'm excited. Like the white horses you made me ride the other day. Yeah, kind. I mean, to be honest, they were more of a warm up for this. We're going to go and see some London major landmarks. London? Like, yeah. like all the London sites? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't it like 100 miles away? Actually, a bit further than 100 miles. And on that note, we really should get going. To the train station. No, that's why we really need to get going now. We've got a long ride ahead of us. Okay. Come on. London, Come on. So far, so good, I reckon. Yeah, You're doing it's okay. Going pretty well. On yeah. our way to London. Well, we are now in a place called Melksham. Do you know why this is a notable place on the route? No idea. Because this is where I grew up, James. Ah, that famous London landmark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> British landmark. Just it just so happens to be on route. Just yeah. so happens to be on route. Right, uh, yeah. It is significant for other reasons, not many. Um, but this actually used to have, or it does have hot springs. So they tried to make a spa in Melchon. Unfortunately, just down the road where we came from, from Bath, uh, it's got some far better hot Slightly springs. Slightly more famous hot yeah. springs. Yeah. So unfortunately, Melchon has kind of stayed in its kind of, well, you can see good, really. Good to be home, Mark? Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't been here for many years, yeah. but yeah. You don't nostalgic. seem too uh, nostalgic. I think, no. we, I think we should just push on. Maybe. Yeah, I think we should, <laughs> yeah. It's a bit eerie, this place. Right, let's go, let's All go. Right, onwards, onwards. <laughs> So James, the next stop on our little adventure today is here, the Cane Hill Locks, just outside of Devizes. This is the Kennet and Avon Canal, the same canal that comes out of Bath, so we've just kind of followed it towards Devizes. But what's cool about this bit here is that we've got 29 locks within three quarters of a mile, wow. which is phenomenal. I mean, for anyone in a canal boat going through that, that's going to take them probably around half a day to go through just all those locks up to the top of the hill or yeah. back down. You ever done the canal boat thing? I've been on one, but I haven't done this. So. You haven't gone all the way to London on a canal boat? No, you? no. Maybe that's one for another day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, sadly, we can't really see it because it's misty. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> we best get riding, yeah. but um, oh, I thought it'd so. be a cool <laughs> sight. <laughs> so, we are around 45k in, just outside of Isis, on the way to Marlborough now. And I thought it's probably time we got some breakfast. Yeah, this is what I'm here for. Oh yeah. Uh, so, full English breakfast. Of course. Why I not? assume you've had one of these before, sure. Yeah, they're pretty standard 
globally, I think, full yeah. English breakfasts. Yeah, what makes it a full English breakfast? I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Just a no. lot of everything. Sausages, baked beans, egg, hash browns, tomatoes. Proper One fire. thing that is missing here today is black pudding. I would love you to assemble black pudding. Assuming pudding. you probably haven't had one of those. I haven't had black pudding. Is no. it pudding with your breakfast? Sadly not, no. It's, um, it's congealed blood and stuff like that. It's really nice though. I'm, yeah. I don't think I'm going to miss that. No, no, no. Well, I, I, I will do breakfast. my best to find one later in the day for you. Now all, we, all that's missing now is uh, my cup of coffee. Ah, yeah, on that, I'm afraid uh, if we're going to do an all, -in all British adventure today, um, it's got to be tea, not coffee. All day? All day, yeah. No coffee, just embrace the tea. I think my chances of making it to London have reduced substantially <laughs> on that news. <laughs> well, you best tuck well, in, mate. Let's tuck in, yeah. Cheers. Well, Mark, I, uh, devouring that full English breakfast is probably not going to be the hardest part of my day today. <laughs> that went down pretty well. Uh, so now we've got a cup of tea, which uh, I've got to say I'm not a tea drinker. So how do you take your tea, Mark? Well, this is quite a fancy tea, I've got to be honest. Look at this thing. Um, ordinarily, if I was making my own tea, I would put the tea bag in, hot water, then very quickly after add the milk, let it brew for around two minutes. Two minutes, in my opinion, is the optimum. Remove the tea bag and voila. Oh. Um, now there is a bit of debate actually on that because some people like to, and this is absurd in my opinion, add the milk first and then the tea bag and then the hot water, which is odd. Um, the reasoning apparently is that with the fine china back in the day, that if you just added hot water, it could crack the mug. So they add the, the milk beforehand. Still with me? Anyway. Um, anyway. I think we should just enjoy this. He's quite um, passionate about his tea here. I didn't think he even drank tea. So, I think this is okay. brewed long enough. I think so, we so should British pour thing. this. Okay, I, I'm just uh, copying you, so yeah. uh, you just tell me what Ooh, to do. Oh, uh, this is a... Oh, no, it's not. It's not loose, um, loose tea. Sorry, it's just a bag, sorry. So we are uh, officially on triple figures in uh, kilometers, not miles, which is not really British, is it? Got to, got to measure in miles. So a ways to go still, because we've got to get to triple figures at least in miles um, before we get to London. Thought we'd stop at another British landmark. Yep. <laughs> um, we are in Bradfield Southend. So yeah, just over 100K, as you said. Um, and whoa, we have been so lucky with the weather, haven't we? Are we talking about the weather now? Is that a British thing to do? Mark? Yeah, and probably will in about 10 minutes time. And maybe yeah. when conversation dries up, we'll talk about the weather a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, um, we also, we decided we need to stop in uh, that our oh, full English breakfast has worn off a bit now. So uh, we had to uh, stuff our pockets with some British stuff. Uh, and uh, Mark's given me this, which is a flapjack, they call it. I didn't realize this was just a British thing until you mentioned. I'm not sure it is just a British thing, but I certainly don't, haven't seen it in much of the world. And, we definitely don't have them in South Africa. Well, made it to London. London, baby! <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> it's about 180k, very slow at the end, but... Yeah, it, uh, it definitely turned to, to proper urban riding there, yeah. weaving in and out of, uh, out of buses and uh, waiting at red lights. Uh, we actually had a, a pause time of nearly over two hours, <laughs> so it was a lot of uh, stopping and starting. And real surges on the legs, too. Yeah, you must to get, get strong going. in London. Mm. How are your legs, though? Uh, they're okay, actually, yeah. I, I'm a bit concerned, though, because we've ridden all this way and I don't feel like I've seen a single sight of London except maybe a double deck of us. <laughs> well, that is all in store coming up now. So, we ready? We're going to do a bike tour of London? Yeah, yeah well, I'm ready to go. I'm afraid, though, these bikes aren't going to do. Really? Yeah, we need some Boris bikes. Whoa! Hey! What, uh... Hey! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, what happened to other bikes? 
don't worry about the fine details, James. We're here to see some sights, and we haven't got, well, it's quite late already, so we best get going, James. Come on, let's go. Get on, baby, London. <laughs> Last time you were here, James? Uh, last time I was here, we are currently in Hyde Park, and that is the Serpentine. And I recognize it because I was here for the Women's Triathlon in London 2012. Whee! And uh, yeah, we watched the, watched the race from the uh, stands at the finish line. Literally right here, kind of, yeah. almost. Uh, yeah. yeah, somewhere, yeah. 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 Uh, so that's the last time I was here. It looked a little different back then. Uh, a little bit more tense. But it's good to be back. So, first stop, food. Very important. A little bit disappointed. I mean, we are a bit pushed for time. I had hoped we'd stop for bangers and mash or fish and chips. Still sausage there. roll. We're just going to have to do. It's kind of British. It's a good start. I don't know. Sausage roll's British? I'm I don't pretty know. sure they're all over the world. They're definitely in South Africa. But it's, we might have started them from the They do them very well in Britain. Very well. Arguably them. the best. I, I'm enjoying this one, but it's been quite a long time and a lot of miles since we had that full yes. English breakfast. I think we're going to need <laughs> a lot more than this to see us through. Even that is going to be a panic trip to McDonald's after. <laughs> McDonald's? That's not British, is it? No. Uh, Greg's no. maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> London, baby. Here we go, James. This is Wellington Arch. Yeah. Quite impressive, isn't it? Quite impressive. It's yeah. not even that significant on our tour today. Just, just kind of happens to be on route. It wasn't even on the list. It's just a nice arch. Right. Where are we, Mark? Uh, this uh, this is Trafalgar Square. Sorry, I'm a, I am a country boy. I, I took, you, took you a minute there, didn't you? <laughs> didn't even know this. We almost rode straight past it. Mark was like, I don't know what that is. Let's go. Uh, uh, yeah. What do you reckon? It's yeah, quite cool, isn't yeah. it? Pretty impressive, yeah. Yeah, the National Gallery up there. I'll tell you what's really impressive. The giant ice cream cone. Oh, that one there? All oh, right. I thought you were talking about this. Uh, oh, that's yeah, cool. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Pretty nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next destination. Actually, Oops. unsure. Not too sure. Right. We'll have to get back to you on that. So next spot is Westminster Abbey. Oh. Abbey. Unless we see anything. I heard of that route. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. River Thames. Why do you keep saying London baby? London baby? Don't you know what that's from? I'm guessing a film. No. Friends. Oh, Friends came to Joey. London. And Joey yeah. keeps saying London baby. It's like the most famous thing that's ever happened in London, Mark. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, no, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. I think you can stop now. Oh, uh, okay. But, yeah, you know, you still be excited. <laughs> what do you think to the Thames? A bit dirty. Yeah, I probably wouldn't advise swimming in there. No. Hi, right, James. Do you know what that is? Cathedral? St Paul's Cathedral. <laughs> Another cathedral. I, I feel like we should have brought someone that actually knows something about London. Yeah, you're admitting to me a crap tour guide. Well, I kind of know the names of places, but other than that, I don't know much about the cathedral. We've seen the sights. No one said it was a history. Yeah, yeah no, true. All yeah. right. Oh, Take it off. Oh, thanks. Okay, cheers. Take it off. <laughs> On the go. <laughs> There we go, James. The gherkin. Giant, giant pickle. 
Exactly. I think even you knew that. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, nothing historical about that, so um, just nothing needed here. from me here. You need just building. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Brilliant. Another one ticked off. On with the show. Hey. Next up, the Tower of London. What do you reckon? It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's quite impressive. It's where they lock the bad guys. It's where they lock the bad guys, like Guy Fawkes up. And some of Henry VIII's wives. What else do you know about a phone? That's okay. I just, I just know a few, just pe few people that were imprisoned. You got Edward and Richard, some of the princes were imprisoned here. Uh, I forget the Queen, she was like. The queen, queen was imprisoned. A yeah? queen, she was queen for a week oh. and imprisoned. Um, yeah, my, you don't my, know her name. my, I think I need to go back to school and do some history. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's quite embarrassing actually, but very impressive. Very impressive. And then we're over to Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. Cool. And we really do need to hurry up because light is going fast. So yeah, we need to get a shimmy on. Going over Tower Bridge. Do you like big boats? <laughs> it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Okay, HMS Belfast. Yeah, I, I, I think there's uh, sailors on there dressed as civilians. <laughs> in in nice um, dinner suits and. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Never seen sailors dressed like that. Yeah. Quite cool, isn't it? The shard! The shard! <laughs> Done! Onwards! Oh, it's cool! A bit like the gherkin. Don't really have much to say about it. It's a bit like everything here in London. Don't really have much to say it's about it. It's a big building. It's a big yeah. building. It's cool. It. It's cool. It's cool. See it in the flesh now. Good job to it, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. So, um, gotta be honest, we, we are cutting it a little bit fine with the light. We, um, are having to speed things up a little bit here so we're gonna tick off a few from a distance here we've got millennium bridge there the one that kind of waves around you can see it moving you see that no. so yeah look it's moving around it's moving oh yeah yeah look and then that is shakespeare globe down there yeah um nice old building in amongst all the new stuff it's pretty cool isn't it well i'll take it off even though we can't see it well i can yeah you can come on i can see that we got police <laughs> you're taking liberties with your, your tour, tour well look well. we are cutting it we've got a lot to <laughs> still see i mean we could go down there if you want do you want to go down there do you want to go see it you're you're tour guide. all right okay fine let's go do it so james because you've insisted and you've insulted my tour guiding there's a shakespeare globe up front the shakespeare globe shakespeare's globe yeah. shakespeare's globe yeah what do you know about that mark shakespeare's globe isn't it this is Shakespeare, this is Globe. It's very, there's a, I have been in there, it's a big theatre, it's very cool. Don't know much more than that, sorry. Oh, do, you, do, do you want dates? No, or? seen it, seen it. Okay, no, cool, job. all yeah, right. Good job, Mark. What do you think this, James? Uh, the Millennium Eye? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, so, uh, tell me, Mark, when was that built? <laughs> Oh, got this one. Got it. The millennium. Oh. 2000. Well, should have, should have guessed, I suppose. Probably wasn't now. Someone's going to fact check me and say, actually, it was delayed in its construction and it wasn't finished until 2001. Probably. Probably. Yeah. It's yeah. not moving, I'm afraid. It's not moving, no. Yeah. Very impressive. I feel like our conversation's really drying up, and that's partly because of our. Um, Need for food. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in our in our tour guide here. We started with high hopes for a lot of English food on the on the tour, and uh, so far I've had a full English breakfast and a. Uh, we'll a do, we'll do it. eaten sausage roll. We'll do it on the return trip we're not home. Sure it was British. And if if it's not on the return trip home, I'll treat you tomorrow morning to bangers and mash for breakfast. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll survive till tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, they're all... It always turns into a competition. At GTM. <laughs> so James, Westminster Palace and Big Ben. Quite cool, isn't it? It's quite cool. In fact, you've probably come at the best time because, well, if you look closely, it's covered in scaffolding at the moment. And that, that makes it the best time. Well, I just say because from a distance and in the dark, it looks fine. Oh, right. Yeah, you can't see the scaffolding so much? No, you can't, no. no. It's you quite good. You can still see the fluorescent lights all over. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> anyway, we we're here to see Big Ben, and technically we've seen Big Ben. Yeah. And the Palace of Westminster. And it's telling the right time, fortunately. That's good. Yeah, which is um, it's worrying because it's five to eight. And our final destination. Buckingham Palace! Hey, the Queen's home. Yeah, I think she is actually. I mean, the flag's up, so that's what they say anyway. Um, we kind of went past this at the start. Yeah, which but means we've done the, a loop round. Yeah, and the end of our uh, 20Ks around London loop. Plus 180K ish to get here. Yeah, 200K a day. Big Solid. Day. Really GTN's good. GTN's great big London adventure. Yeah. And do you feel better equipped for British culture and? British people? Uh, not really. I mean, I feel like I know the roads a little bit better on my bike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe just learn how to deal with me for a day. Yeah, yeah. Learned how little you know about London. Yeah, maybe. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I did research a lot for today's route, but not so much about London, which is a bit of a mistake. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know what? This has been awesome. And you're grabbing a Boris bike and whizzing around London safely, obviously, yeah. it's really cool. It is. I fully recommend it to anyone. It's, it's a really good really way fun. of seeing the place. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And don't forget to give us a subscribe down below. Where to next, Mark? Now I've shown you my country. I think we should go to South Africa. I don't think we can ride to South Africa, Mark. Yeah, no. It's, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure the budget will allow us to go to South Africa, will it? No. Well, we okay. think about it. Yeah. We'll come up with someone. All right.